there are a couple of uh, programs out there that you can create your documents in. Anytime you purchase a new computer that comes with Windows Vista, you're going to get by default Notepad and WordPad. And then there's another program out there created by Microsoft called Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is greater than all of them in the hierarchical structure. It's at the top and it's got the most features, followed by WordPad, which you can format and do some things in there, but not as much as Microsoft Word. And then finally, Notepad. What we're going to cover today, assuming that you do want to format some of your text and that you haven't purchased Microsoft Word, we're going to create everything in WordPad. Let me show you the difference between the three real quick. I'm going to click on the Start button and type in the Instant Search field Notepad. And you can see there's my Notepad. When you click on it, it opens up Notepad and you can just start typing. It gives you some plain text. You can select some of the text and uh, do some formatting like font. You can do change the sizes or the different types of font, but that's your limit. That's it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here and not save it. Let me show you WordPad, which is a step up from Notepad. You can do actually colors and actually bold your font where you can't in Notepad. So I'm going to click on the Start button, click in the Instant Search field and type in WordPad, and then up at the top you can see it. Click on WordPad, and I can type in any text that I want, but you see it's a little bit, there's more features here. I can select some of the text by clicking and dragging with my mouse and click on B for bold. I can also change the color with my color palette, click on it, and select maybe something red. You see I can do a little bit more, and it only has a, a couple of toolbars here, but that's about the extent of it, and that's the one we're going to be working on. I'm going to close out of here and not save it, and I'm going to show you the next one that Microsoft Word sells. It doesn't come free with your Windows Vista unless when you purchase your computer you specifically say, I'll pay $100, $200 to have Microsoft Word already installed on my computer. So to open up Microsoft Word, I can come down here, click on my shortcut, and click on there's Microsoft Word, open that up. And I'll expand it. You see, boy, you got a lot of features in Microsoft Word. You can really get fancy with some of the text that you type in here, any text that you want. Um, you know, make it bold, change the colors, ooh, different types of colors, not just your basic primary colors, but some accent to it. That's just the beginning. If you want to learn more about Word, I have three different levels of training videos on Word for the beginners level one, then level two for the intermediate, and level three for the advanced. In any case, I'm going to close out of here and say no. And like I said, for those of you who are just looking for some basics, we're going to use WordPad. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Start button, and then click here in the Instant Search and type in WordPad, and then come up here and click and open it up, and WordPad's open. So I'll maximize it. I'll go ahead and start typing some text. Let's say I want to go ahead and create a letter, and the letter up at the top, I'll start with Harry. Just go ahead and start typing to go ahead and return. And then we want to type in the address that he's at. And then hit enter on the keyboard. Pretty simple, just typing and hitting enter. And then hit enter a couple of times, and then go ahead and address who you're typing. And then hit enter a couple of times and say, Now, if I misspell the word right here, it doesn't tell me, and there's no spell check in WordPad. That's why you may want to go and spend some money and purchase Microsoft Word. Well, it will check the spelling for you and make sure it's correct. So that's one of the many things you won't find in WordPad that Microsoft Word has. And then when I'm finished, hit Enter. And I can go ahead and type in Sincerely. Enter. Now, all I'm trying to do here is not tell you how to go ahead and format or type your letters or the fact that you can type over here until you get to the end of your margin. I'm not really covering WordPad. I'm showing you for at least for the basics how to create and save a document. If you want to go into more detail, again, you may want to purchase Microsoft Word training videos. You may not have Microsoft Word, but at least you'll get some of the basics. For example, if I had a sentence that kept going on and on and on, you see this margin right here, the right margin. Instead of hitting enter, you want to keep going because it should wrap the text around for you and you can just keep typing. Some of the basic features like that. But for right now, I'm creating a document and once I'm done, I want to go ahead and click save. I can click on the save button here, click on the file menu and go down to save. The moment I click save, it's going to ask me two questions. First of all, it's going to say, what's the name of the document? Because right now you can see up in the title bar it's called document. Well, this is a letter to Harry Plopper. So I want to change the title. It's not document, it's, it's Harry. Second of all, it's going to ask, where do I want to save it? Well, before we get going too far, I want to click on the Browse Folder button. I want to expand this so I can see more. I'm going to click and drag the heading bar here and drag and move this up so we can see it better. 
here's the details. This is where it's going to save it. It's going to save it right here in this folder. And I don't know where this folder's at. So what I want to do is I want to go to my desktop. So I can come over here, click and drag the scrolly bar and click on desktop. Or I can click on more and find desktop. And once I hit desktop, remember the exercises folder that we watched from previous training videos. I mean, all this stuff is on my desktop. So right now I want to save it to the desktop. So first of all, where do you want to save it? Look in here, what you see in here, if you click save, it's where it's going to save it. Many times people just go ahead and type this in, click save, and it's probably saving in some folder that they just don't know where it's at. To me, until you become more proficient in Windows, I'd save it right to the desktop because you can always move it later, right? Just clicking and dragging. So let me come back to more, or I can come up here and click on this drop down arrow right and just to choose desktop. Okay, so first it asks where do you want to save it to my desktop, and that's where it shows up here. Second of all, what's the name? I can go ahead and click in here and say it's Harry Letter. And then when I'm finished, I can go ahead and click Save. Right now, it's saving it as an RTF or a rich text format. Rich text means it's just text you can actually format, give it color, make it bold, rich text. So after I'm done, just go ahead and click Save. Saves it right to the desktop. Now if I make any changes while the document's opened, right here, I add some more stuff, whatever, then I click Save. It's not going to ask me or open up that window again, is it? Because, first of all, anytime you save a document for the first time, it needs to know where you want to save it. It needs to know what the name is. Anytime thereafter, it doesn't need to know where to save it because you already specified to the desktop. So it's not going to open up this, what they call, Save As window. And you saw that? I'm going to click on the file and go down to Save As. Save As will say, look, what name do you want to give me and where do you want to save me? And you can see it's already been saved to the desktop. In fact, let me click cancel. We'll close out. And there it is on the desktop. Now you see how mine looks like it's in Microsoft Word. It's got that icon, the W. That's Microsoft Word because I can open this up in Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is the default text editor on my computer. It's the most powerful one. Yours is probably going to be WordPad unless you actually purchase Microsoft Word like I did and put it on your computer. So what I'm going to have to do is if I double click on this, it's going to open up in Microsoft Word instead of WordPad. So I can right click on this and go to open with hover over it and say open with WordPad. See how that's different, this little icon, WordPad? You see how Microsoft Word's there? It's in blue. See, it wants to open up Microsoft Word. For you, just double click on it. If I double click, it opens up in Microsoft Word. But for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to close out, right click, go to open with and say WordPad. Opens up in WordPad. Okay, so let's say I want to make some more changes here. Let's say I want to create another letter to Ron. It's going to be the same letter. Maybe he, he also broke his wand too. Well, let me get rid of this junk. So I can click and drag or click at the end and hit the backspace key a couple of times. And then come up here, click and drag and hit the delete key for Harry Plopper and type in Ron. And he doesn't live at Magic Street. Maybe it's some other street. Go ahead and change the street, whatever it is. Make the changes once you're done. Oh, we need to double click. When you double click, it selects the whole word, Harry, and I can just go ahead and type over it. Automatically it types over it. When I'm finished, I don't want to click save because if I click save, it's still named as Harry, Harry's letter, right? But I want to go file to save as, and that as mean as what? Another copy with a new name and a new place to save it? Exactly. Go ahead and click save as. Brings up that window again. It says, look, you want to go ahead and save this to the desktop. See right here, I'm going to go ahead and give it a new name and hit the backspace key and delete it and say this is going to be Ron's letter. Okay. Do I want to save it to the desktop or do I want to save it in a folder here? If I want to save it in the exercise folder, I can double click on it and then just go ahead and click save. Up at the top, it's now Ron's letter. So if I make any changes here, so if I add, add some more and then I go ahead and click save. It's going to save right to that letter. So I'm going to go ahead and close out. Now I have Harry's. Okay. Then I can go ahead and double click on the exercise folder. And there's Ron's. So if I right click and go to open with WordPad, left click on that, there's Ron's letter. Close out. I can click and drag Ron's letter to the desktop. And then close out. Now I've got two letters. And all I had to do was save it as a copy of Harry's letter and just make a few minor changes in it to make it easier so I don't have to retype everything in Harry's letter in a new letter. Just make a few changes and save it as another letter or another document. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.